These work boots are the Marin work boot from Brunt Workwear. How do these boots feel on your feet? Are these boots any good? And do these boots hold up over time? In today's video, I'm gonna unbox these boots, show you up close and personal what they look like, and I'll walk a couple of miles in these boots right down Las Vegas Boulevard, and I'll give you my honest opinion. At the end of today's video, I'll give you an update after wearing these boots for six weeks. This is not a sponsored video. The opinion I give you today is gonna to be my own. Full disclosure, Brunt did send me this pair of boots to try out. Let's get these boots out of the box so we can take a first look at them. Here's an up close look at what they look like inside this box. Looks like they come with a towel and a sticker. These boots are the Marin unlined soft toe size 15. Here's a close up look at the tread on the bottom. This has got a pretty flexible hard rubber there. We've got stitching along the bottom. The toe box has uh, stitching on it too. Let's get this packaging out of there and look inside. Let me take out these insoles and we'll take a look at those. There's the first one. And there's a second one down in there. There's the second one, and then that's the inside of the boot. These are size 15s. Here are the two insoles. They ride in the boot like that. The bottom insole says uh, to keep in for the regular D width, remove for wider width. I'm gonna leave them in. Before I walk a couple of miles in these boots, let me get these things put on and I'll give you my first reaction. All right, just walking around a little bit, I'm already finding that inside these speed hooks, it has lace holes. And when I was using the lace holes, it was really hurting my ankle. So I'm just gonna use the speed hooks and we'll try it that way. Oh yeah, that's a big difference. The Marin boot did not come in a half size in 14 or 15. Some boots I wear a 14 and a half, other boots I wear a 15. I gave the 15s a try. Even though Brunt Workwear did send me these boots for free, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about these. So let's take a walk and see how they feel. Before I head out to Las Vegas Boulevard, I've got some exciting news. My merch store is now up and running. MrFredsDIY.com. I've got t-shirts, hoodies, and just in time for fall, I've got zipper hoodies too. All these are available in royal blue or gray. MrFredsDIY.com. I'll put a link in the description below. We're down on the strip in Las Vegas. I've got the boots on. We're gonna take a walk and we're gonna see just how comfortable these boots are. Today on cameras, we've got Jeff helping us out. Thanks a lot, Jeff. So how are you liking the feel of the boots? The boots feel pretty good. After walking a couple of miles on concrete in these boots, I can definitely tell you it felt like I was wearing boots. But I have to say, they were pretty comfortable. Let's see how much these boots weigh and we'll compare them against my old boots and my Tony Llamas. The scale is zeroed out. Let's get these Brunt boots on there. Brunt boots on the scale. Three pounds, three pounds and 8.7 ounces. Let's get my old boots. Old boots going on the scale. These guys weigh three pounds and 13 ounces. That's a little bit heavier. And then the Tony Llamas, I'm very curious how much of these guys weigh. 
these weigh three pounds and just under six ounces. So those are pretty light. I've been wearing these boots for six weeks now. I've been wearing them around the shop. I've worn them in the desert a few times and I walked a couple miles on concrete. I was a little worried about this two-piece insole system. I wear size 14 and a half. These are 15s. These feel pretty good on my feet. If you'd like to give Brunt Boots a try, I'll put my affiliate link in the description below. And if you use code MrFreds10 at checkout, you'll save $10 off your boots. I'm glad you watched, and I hope you'll watch again.